that were obstacles in your healing processes. Due to the venom they would expose you to. And this is why I always share. Part of this journey. Is you leaving behind. People, places and things that no longer. serve you and in explanation I'm stating that are no longer in in alignment with your purpose unapologetically I am known in my community because I've served in many capacities, some in healing careers and some in volunteering. So in 2019, when I was called to detach, I questioned, is that of God? Detach? Why should I detach? What I'm doing is in alignment with what we should be doing. You see, I worked with a population That was in the mindset of recovery with a label of mental illness. And so I got to experience those who came to the support groups or the courses I would teach, I would get to see and feel a difference When healing came home. And this is why I was so dedicated to my work. I mean I was dedicated to my work. Because when you love what you do. It doesn't feel like work. But God was sending me messages in song, in conversation, in dream. Detach. People. (laughs) 
I was being called to leave my job. I was being called to leave places I was volunteering. To leave my marriage. To no longer share any pleasantries. As he said, can't we still be friends? That was the request made after the divorce. And in November of 2019, I closed the door to communication. I was divorced in February of 2019. On February 14th, now that wasn't by my choosing. But if you were paying attention, I just told you that God speaks to us in different ways. So when I found myself in court, responding to the judge, That I wanted out. I told myself. Who would have thought. (laughs) This would be. On Valentine's Day. Out of. All the days. My divorce was finalized on Valentine's Day. But God was speaking to me. You see, that day, many people regard to be a day that we celebrate love. Although in research I've discovered many technical, so to speak, details that are overlooked in the name of tradition or festivities. But later on, I realized the reason why it occurred on that day is because God wanted to bring to my attention that in making this decision and walking away, I was loving myself. I was loving myself. You see, God knows things that sometimes we don't see. He knows the thoughts of others. He hears the conversations 
that are done behind your back. He witnesses the plotting on these round tables. I'm going to go back to the first card again. And the title of today's episode again. Never outshine the master. You can plan and believe you covered all your eyes. And crossed all your T's. But in the end, God is still in control. And when you interfere with his children, you interfere for the rest of your days. That is the second card. Drum. Awaken. Some of you needed this information to be brought to you. Now, sometimes I find myself asking, are you sure you want, to, you want me to say that? <laughs> Do you understand the amount of flack I am going to get for making this statement? Again, I am reminded This is my purpose. And by way of me being obedient to stating whatever he sends, I am afforded All this protection that I have. All my needs are met. Everyone who is connected to me in truth benefits. Everything comes at a cost. Those of you that are struggling with adulting, that's a bit of information that you should keep in your notebook. Everything comes with a cost. So I'm going to proceed and say what I'm being led to say. This is addressed to those wearing a mask. You know who you are. God is not pleased. With your practices. I said God is not pleased. With your practices. 